welcome to my channel today we are going to solve some of the important question from the circuit analysis for the preparation of the trb competitive exam so already i posted some of the videos uh, related to this subject okay uh, if you want to learn that one uh, in our channel in the name of trb polytechnic uh, there is a playlist is there i will give a link for that playlist in the description box you can refer it okay so now we can see the question the first one match the following alpha equal to r divided by 2l omega not equal to 1 divided by square root of lc okay this is the resonance frequency and the damping ratio is given so depending upon this alpha value and omega not there is a three option is given so you see alpha greater than omega not alpha equal to omega not alpha less than omega not okay critically damped under damped and over damped okay so in our uh, that is uh, in that circuit if alpha greater than omega not means uh, it is said to be over damped circuit okay that circuit produces over damped oscillation then alpha equal to omega not alpha equal to omega not uh, it is nothing but a critically damped circuit if alpha value less than omega not means uh, it is nothing but a under damped circuit so this is the correct option so for a 3 alpha greater than omega not means uh, it's a over damped alpha equal to omega not means critically damped alpha less than omega not means under damped okay so you just see the conditions then the next question uh, this is the given circuit okay so this is a one uh, rlc circuit series rlc circuit with some ac supply is given the response of the circuit is either over damped are under damp critically damped or undamped okay so this question is related with the previous question depending upon this condition okay either uh, that is we have to find out alpha value as well as omega not value if alpha satisfies uh, this alpha omega not value satisfies the first condition means it is a over damped equal means critically damped less than means under damp okay so now we can check the condition so we have to find out the value of alpha what is alpha alpha is nothing but r divided by 2l okay so here what is the resistance value 40 and the inductance value is 4 henry so 40 divided by 2 into 4 so the answer is 5 okay similarly we have to find out uh, omega not value so the omega not uh, resonance frequency omega not is nothing but uh, 1 divided by square root of lc so here 1 divided by square root of what is l l inductor is 4 capacitor is 1 by 4 so the omega not is 1 okay now you check the value alpha value and omega not value here alpha value is greater than omega not okay since alpha is 5 omega not is 1 okay so the circuit it satisfies the first condition so it is a over damped circuit okay so a is the correct option so depending upon this resistor inductor and capacitor value we have to find out alpha omega not value uh, if it satisfies this condition means it is called as a over damp okay so this is the one of the question and the uh, next question find uh, the equivalent resistance between the terminal a and b okay so this is our given circuit so we have to find uh, resistance between this terminal a and b okay that is our question so using the series parallel uh, uh, combination series parallel reduction technique uh, as well as star to delta delta to star we how to find out the total resistance across this terminal a and b so now you see the circuit so already you know we how to reduce the circuit from last end to first end okay so if you are looking this thing okay this uh, resistance concept uh, so we can uh, take it as a uh, this network this 3 ohm 6 ohm 1 ohm is connected in star connection similarly this 1 4 and 6 connected in star connection okay so we may use a uh, star to delta delta to star procedure in order to find out uh, that resistance or otherwise so you just uh, note down the thing so here you see uh, this node 1 okay so in node 1 you see this 3 ohm resistor 6 ohm resistor you see the 3 ohm and 6 ohm Uh, the 3 ohm and 6 ohm one end is connected in node 1 okay and uh, the another end of 3 ohm and 6 ohm is connected in node 3 okay that means 
this three ohm and six ohm is connected in parallel combination okay similarly you see here okay so you see this uh, 12 ohm and 4 ohm okay you see this two resistor one end of this two resistor is connecting node 2 another end is connected in node 3 okay that means this 12 and 4 is connected in parallel combination okay so that's why 3 and 6 connected in parallel combination okay so you see now i am redrawn the circuit like this okay so you just expand this node 1 and node 2 this node as a line okay i am expanding this node 1 and node 2 as a one line okay this line totally node 1 this is node 2 so i am redrawing this 3 and 6 like this okay so if you are seeing this the 3 ohm and 6 ohm connect in parallel similarly 12 and 4 connected in parallel okay the remaining resistor as it is you just draw so the parallel combination of 3 and 6 3 into 6 divided by 3 plus 6 so the answer is 2 ohm similarly the parallel combination of 4 and 12 4 into 12 divided by 4 plus 12 it is a 3 ohm okay now we can replace this parallel combination by 2 ohm and this parallel combination by 3 ohm and the remaining resistor 10 ohm 1 ohm 1 ohm and 5 ohm as it is you write okay and again you see this 5 ohm and 1 ohm is connected in series so 5 plus 1 6 ohm okay so now you see the circuit and again we have to reduce from last so if you are looking this 3 and 6 how it is connected parallel so already you know the parallel combination of 3 and 6 is 2 ohm okay so now the circuit is reduced like this okay so 10 2 1 and this parallel combination 2 ohm. now you see this 2 ohm and 1 ohm is connected in series okay so 2 ohm and 1 ohm connected in series means 3 ohm now the 3 and 2 connect in parallel so 3 and 2 connect in parallel means the parallel combination answer is 6 divided by 5 so if you are reducing you can get like this then 10 ohm and 6 by 5 connected in series so 10 plus 6 by 5 finally we can get the answer is 11.2 ohm okay this is the total uh, resistance between the terminal a and b okay this is the thing so if you are looking this diagram uh, that is a uh, uh, we assume it as uh, we may use uh, star to delta conversion or delta to star conversion but here you see uh, if you are looking this node 1 means so this 3 and 6 connected in series okay similarly if you are looking this node 2 this 12 and 4 connected in uh, sorry 3 and 4 3 and 6 connected in parallel similarly 12 and 4 is connected in parallel so using simply the series parallel combination we can reduce this circuit okay so it's a very important question and uh, you see the next question determine the equivalent inductance of uh, the series combination uh, shown in figure okay so here the two inductors the first inductor value 5 henry the second inductor is 7 henry okay and in the first inductor the dot is uh, given here in second inductor the dot is given here okay and mutual inductance between this two inductors is 4 henry okay this is the given thing our question is to find out uh, the total inductance or equivalent inductance. So now you see the connection, the two inductors are connected in series. Okay. And as well as you know down the dots, uh, if uh, one dot, okay, this first dot uh, is available in the leaving end of the first inductor. And this dot, uh, for a second inductor, this dot is uh, appearing in the entering end of the inductor. Okay. So the two dots are in opposite direction. So that's why it is a series opposing. Okay. So when the two inductors are connected in series opposing, you know the total equivalent inductance value. The equivalent inductance is L1 plus L2 minus 2M. Okay. So you just substitute the value. L1 is 5. L2 is 7 minus 2 into 4. So uh, mutual inductance is 4. Okay. So if you are substituting, we can get the uh, answer it's a 4 henry so 4 henry is the answer okay so instead of uh, uh, giving this two dot in opposite direction if both dots are available in entering node means it is a series aiding so in series aiding the total inductance is l1 plus l2 plus 2m okay so this is the uh, repeated question and uh, you see the next question two inductively coupled coils have self inductance L1 equal to 50 millihenry, L2 equal to 200 millihenry. 
what is the maximum value of mutual inductance so here the two inductance value is given we have to find the ma maximum mutual inductance so the maximum mutual inductance uh, it will occur whenever the coefficient of coupling is 100 percentage so the coefficient of coupling 100 percentage means the number it is one okay if uh, coefficient of coupling is one means at that time uh, the mutual inductance value becomes maximum okay and already you know the formula for uh, the mutual inductance and the self inductance relation the mutual inductance m is equal to k into square root of l1 l2 okay so here the k is 1 okay the k value is not at all directly given in our problem but uh, uh, they are asking find the maximum value of mutual inductance so default by default we have to understand that uh, under maximum value of mutual inductance coefficient of coupling is 1 okay so 1 into square root of l1 is 50 milli henry so 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 l2 is 200 milli henry so 200 into 10 to the power minus 3 okay so if you are calculating the answer is uh, m is equal to 100 milli henry this is the answer so this is also yeah one important uh, uh, concept problem okay just remember this formula the relation between mutual inductance and self inductance then the next question a series rlc circuit has r equal to 50 ohms l equal to 0 0.01 henry capacitor c equal to 0 0.04 microfarad okay find the voltage across the inductor under resonance when the system voltage is 100 volt okay that is our question so for series rlc circuit r value l value c value and the supply voltage is given okay so the voltage across the inductor under under resonance is the vl is equal to i into xl okay so here we have to find out the xl value as well as the current value okay so the current under resonance uh, the current i is equal to v divided by r okay since in series rlc under resonance uh, the reactance of inductor is gets cancelled by reactance of capacitor okay so i equal to v by r what is v 100 and uh, what is the resistance value resistance is 50 so 100 divided by 50 it is at 2 amps okay so i is calculated next we have to calculate the reactance under resonance so xl uh, what is the reactance of uh, inductor omega l okay so omega means it's a 2 pi f l so under resonance so instead of f f r okay so in order to find out the reactance we have to find the resonance frequency first okay so the resonance frequency formula you know what is the resonance frequency f r is equal to 1 by 2 pi square root of l c so if you are substituting L value and C value, uh, we can get the answer 7.95 kilohertz. Okay. Then uh, you substitute this FL, uh, FR value and inductor value here. So the XL is uh, 500 ohms. Okay. Then you substitute uh, uh, this 500 ohms. So therefore, the voltage across the inductor is nothing but the current 2 into uh, the inductance value is 500. Okay. So thousand is the correct answer so thousand volt is the correct answer it's a voltage across the uh, inductor in resonance condition okay uh, then the next question the equivalent resistance in the infinite uh, ladder network shown in the figure is dash okay so you see this is the infinite ladder network the first series resistance is 2r then uh, in parallel one resistance r in series are parallel R, series are it is an infinite uh, ladder network so for this network we have to find the equivalent resistance okay uh, so if you are uh, that is in order to find out the equivalent resistance first this 2r resistance you see this 2r resistance uh, we are splitting this 2r resistance into 2r resistance okay so you see 2r resistance are connected series means this is r plus r it's a 2r okay so we can replace like this so for this uh, infinite ladder network so you see instead of this first r so the remaining uh, this is nothing but in series one r parallel one r series r parallel r, series r parallel r okay so the symmetric network so for this type of uh, infinite ladder network so the re1 value that is re1 is nothing but the resistance looking here okay instead of this series are the remaining resistance of this infinite ladder network 
Re one is nothing but uh, this is the formula. You just remember it. One plus square root of five divided by two into R. Okay. Then uh, uh, this infinite ladder resistance values this Re one. Okay. So uh, in remaining one series R is there. So therefore the total uh, equivalent resistance is R plus Re one. So R plus one plus square root of five divided by two into R. Okay. So the final value is. Uh, 2.618. That is Re divided by R is 2.618. Okay. Or only the total resistance means uh, the equivalent resistance means it is the thing uh, Re equal to R plus 1 by 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 into R. Okay. So these are all the some of the important questions uh, from the circuit analysis. Okay. So we will discuss the remaining question in the next video. So thanks for watching my channel. And please subscribe my channel for more videos. If you want to learn other subjects like uh, signals and system, digital signal processing, circuit analysis, transmission lines, antenna, and uh, there are uh, uh, for so many uh, videos already I posted. So each subject is available in a separate playlist. Okay, you just see. Okay, thank you. We will meet in the next video with one more MCQ.